Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Kane Gunyama, popularly known as Kayom Starlin. A very warm welcome to you if you're new here. Welcome back if you're returning subby. Thank you so so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please click the subscribe button right now. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I achieve this gorgeous look if i do say so myself so i'm going to be installing this beautiful hair which i got from ic hair on aliexpress this video is sponsored by ic hair on aliexpress thank you so much ic hair for sponsoring this video okay cool so first things first I just want to stress the importance of prepping your wig before you put it on your head. So by prepping your wig, I mean putting it on a wig head if you have one. Um, I got this from China Mall. It was relatively cheap. And then it comes with this clamp as well, which I also got from China Mall. And you just put this on. You put this on your desk. And this will really help it make it easier for you to prep your wig. I was wearing this wig yesterday, so it is a bit frizzy because I had it in curls. But it's not a problem. I just blow it on it a little bit and added some mousse and some leave-in conditioner to... Um, the edges so when i put it on my head it's gonna look relatively decent and neat and it's really gonna help my mind not get too overwhelmed with the thought of laying the wig so this is a really really important step which i wasn't doing um just some important information about this hair this is a 24 inch honey blonde wig it is from icy hair um, on AliExpress it is 150 density and it is a 13 by 4 closure which means it has a closure from ear to ear okay um, what else can I tell you about this hair it came in about two weeks I work with IC hair quite often I work with them all the time and I can say that like they have really great hair I'm sure you guys have seen some of my wigs from them they are amazing this isn't HD um, this isn't an HD lace it is a transparent lace I don't know if you guys can see that and all know the difference, but I don't. I personally don't. I had to ask what the difference was. I also added this elastic um, at the back just for additional support. I find that with wigs that you sort of need to lay, like 13 by 4 closures, you really do need um, that elastic at the back for extra support. So if you haven't done this and or if you have, you're struggling to lay a wig because you feel like it keeps slipping off, Go ahead and add an elastic. This elastic does come in the box that comes with the hair as well as two, um, two, what's this thing, child? Hold on. Wig caps, two wig caps. <laughs> Yesterday, I stuck the wig a bit um, far back because I have trauma when it comes to gluing down the wig. So today, I'm actually going to move it a bit closer because of the way in which it's customized. It's um, the, the knots, the, um, the hair is pulled so much in the front that you can sort of afford to bring it as close as possible to your hairline, which I think it looks fine here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick it there. I'm gonna go in with my got to be glued blasting freeze spray, which um, looks like that. And some eight hour cream on my lips. I think it's like, change in season or the weather or something but my lips have been so dry i used to scrub this morning but the texture just feels so so off so i'm just gonna apply some gloss on the top as well okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with a cotton pad and some alcohol just to make sure that um, the area in which I'm going to stick the wig is free from any products, some any oils, anything like that to make sure that I have a good hold on the wig. So I'm just using uh, an alcohol pad and some alcohol, spraying that down like so and I'm going to wipe it completely. So I'm also going to make sure I've got my hair dryer nearby just to make sure that this um, glue dries and I'm just gonna spray it in front of my hairline um, make sure that you have this cotton pad mm, cotton pad nearby because it's so hard to get rid of glue once you have once it dries 
and it'll literally show under your makeup so you don't want that i usually do one side at a time so i'm just gonna pull this wig forward like so So by doing this you sort of um, dry the glue and you know what I've realized actually a lot of people when doing this always suggest using cool air but I find that you get a much better melt with hot air so I don't know maybe you want to try that because I found that like I can conceal the lace a lot better with cool with hot air I don't know maybe it just I don't know how that works I actually don't know how that works okay I'm gonna do this side quickly Okay, it feels very, very secure and tight. I'm gonna go in with some more alcohol and just try and remove um, some of this glue that's shining here before I go in and I wrap this wig. So that's how the hair is looking now. I'm gonna go in with um, just this concealer palette, just to conceal this hair further into my scalp. I'm gonna use a very small brush for this and I'm gonna go in with my foundation shade, which would be NC50. If I'm using this um, foundation palette, concealer palette from MAC, and I'm just gonna basically color in this wig, just to try and further blend this into my scalp for a more flawless finish okay i mean of course like it's it is lace so you know you can never really like hide it that much but i mean you can try your best but ciao everybody knows this hair is not growing out of my scalp that's i'm gonna go in with an elastic band which i got from china mall um it was very cheap for about this length it was like 10 rand um, if you're looking for it from a China mall, you can just go to the shops where they sell um, hair products like hair extensions and I promise you, you will probably find it. Okay, cool. I find it very hard to um, chat. Like I always, I love the idea of chit chat get ready with me but i'm the type of person when i'm teaching i'm so into it like <laughs> it becomes so difficult for me to you know try and like chat to you guys but at the same time tell you about like, what i'm doing and why i'm doing it but anyway i'm gonna try i'm gonna go in with this mattifying primer it's a mattifying and pore minimizing primer from revlon it's a primer plus mattifier and i'm just going to be using that on my nose guys i'm sure you've seen my videos and you're just like what is going on with k's nose my nose will sweat child like it will sweat okay i'm i'm making a reel okay so please um <laughs> y'all bear with me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this eyebrow pencil from Revlon. It is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil and it's in the shade Dark Brown. This is what it looks like. It's got a spoolie at the end. And first things first, I'm going to be brushing up my brows like so. Okay, cool. So I usually do my um, my base first these days, but I find that I just really, I, I, I don't get a sharp enough or precise enough brow. So I really prefer to do my brows first. Then I'm going to go in with this brow filler. I've never used it before. I just want to see what it's all about. It's a Colorstay brow filler. That's what it looks like. And 
and I'm gonna be filling in this brow. Also, if you've got like very faint brow hairs and you don't, you feel like if you're using a pencil, it will it will make your brows look it will make your brows look a lot darker than they should. Then maybe you can just slightly sort of line your your brows with the pencil and then go in and fill in with the brow filler. So the only reason you're lining them is sort of to sort of only just give them shape. Let me pull you guys closer so you guys can have a closer look. We're gonna try that for this brow. We're just gonna line this brow and then fill it in with the brow filler. So just get that shape. Because I get it, like these brow pencils can be like quite dark sometimes. So sometimes you do just want something a bit more natural. And I love it because it's got such a fine sort of um, tip. So it really allows you to get in there. Does it have like, yeah, it's got like hair, like particles inside. So I'm assuming that is what helps. Oh, this actually looks really nice. It looks a lot more natural than this one does because with this one I sort of fold it in with. This actually looks like microbladed a little bit. What is this, honey? I'm so, I'm so against brows with without foundation. It's it's one of the reasons why I'll never do microblading because I'm just like, oh my god, why on earth? But be like that. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna conceal this brow. So I'm going to be using this um, Revlon Colorstay Concealer and it's in the shade Nutmeg. I'm going to be putting this on a pan. I'm going to mix it a little bit with some foundation because I feel like it's a bit watery and it sort of, it doesn't help me um, get the precision that I want when it comes to concealing these brows. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Colorstay concealer and I'm gonna be using this on the rest of my lid just to give me a flawless space for my eyeshadow because I want my eyeshadow to really really pop and the best way to go about that is to sort of conceal the lid first before I go in with any eyeshadow base or anything like that okay today is so cold and I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what I want to do with myself today a part of me just wants to stay in bed but because it's a Friday I sort of don't want to stay in bed but I know for sure I'm gonna edit this video hopefully by the time you guys see this video it will either be Saturday or Friday afternoon give you guys some ideas for some eye looks for the weekend but yeah I don't have really I don't really have any plans for this weekend um, apparently we've got a cold front here in Joburg so I, I have no business being out the house quite honestly and Andy Baweli hey like I just, I don't want to go anywhere unless it's away. That's just how I feel these days. I'm so over Joba Groove, like I'm just Borex, Forex. Same thing, same people, like, yeah, Boranje, like I'm not willing to spend money on Joba Groove. That's something that I'm not trying to do. Um, I'm tired. I also did so much of it last year, so I'm just really, really tired. I'm really trying to get into you know, more traveling, more experiences. My friend and I spoke about hiking this weekend, so we might do that tomorrow. But if the weather's like this, then it makes it a bit difficult. So yeah, anyway, as you guys have seen, I've applied uh, quite a generous amount of concealer on my lid. Remember, I'm trying to do a bit of a dramatic eye look today, so go in with my eyeshadow base um just for 
um, more of a pop. I feel like concealer works, but I am a girly that believes in eyeshadow base, especially if I'm getting trying to get like all the pigments. And I'm using this um, paint pot from MAC. It's in the shade so Soft Ochre. And I'm just going to put this more in the center of my eye. And spread that out like blend that out towards the edges i feel like if i if i put it like a lot of products on the edges you'll find like very concentrated product there and that's not what i want because everything just looks unblended so we just blend this back into the concealer fine so i'm trying to decide whether i want to use the streamer palettes or the maverick palettes the maverick palettes has got like really cool shades it's got like really deeper darker shades in it and then this streamer palette has got very soft glam shades in it i think i'm going to use the maverick um for the outer and then i'm going to use the dreamer for like more inner um cut crease vibes i'm actually still deciding whether i want to do a cut crease or not but i might why not cute okay I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow brush. Damn. Like a fluffyish, roundish eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna pick up this deep burgundy shade. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna press this in. As you can see, I'm really, really packing that product in there. Stretch my eye out to give me all of that gorgeous surface area to work with. Back that softness will help blend that out. I'm going to go in with a darker shade, this shade over here, just to give it a bit more depth over here. Um, and I'm just gonna pack that in right there. Okay, cool. Now that my base is sort of looking good, I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush. This specific one, um, flatten this out a little bit more. And then I'm going to pick up um, my Soft Ochre paint pots and I'm going to be using this beautiful product to cut my crease. Cutting this crease, okay? Looking down. I'm going to be going in with the streamer palette from Revlon as well and I'm going to be using this on my lid remember I just said I'm going for a smoky purple sort of cut crease so I'm just going to place this right on here And then in the front, I'm going to go in with this nude color over here, just because I really like how it's looking here. So I think I'm just going to keep it that way. I'm going to go in with like a pinky sort of color just to blend this nude with this purple so it doesn't look too awkward. So the trick is to sort of use colors that look 
that are in between the two colors like blending this in here i use like a burgundy color and i found that it just blended well with the dark brown and for here i use like a, a light pinky sort of rose gold color um to blend the purple with the nude um because um it's sort of like in the middle it sort of complements both of the colors that you're trying to blend really well as well i'm gonna use this essence liquid ink eyeliner just to draw a nice thick line here at an angle to give this a bit more drama. Then I'm going to close that up with um, just some black eyeshadow, just so it doesn't look too weird and incomplete. And I'm just going to apply normally. Now we're going to get into doing the rest of my face. I'm going to go into some setting spray first. It's a photo ready prep set and refresh setting spray. It is from Revlon. And I'm just going to... Whew. Use this as a prep for my face. Then I'm going to be going in with this Revlon Color Stay foundation. I've already primed my, fa my face, so there's no need for me to do that. I think it's pretty full coverage, as I don't really need to apply a lot of layers to get good coverage from it. It may be different for someone else. really love it because it's rounded so it really gives you a nice um, nice control when you get to concealing the rounded parts of your brows and I'm going to mix a bit of concealer and a bit of foundation for this You sort of want to keep the band on while you are doing your foundation when you're doing when you are laying your wig because you don't want too much product on your wig. I've noticed that when I apply too much product in hopes to conceal the wig, that's when it makes it look a lot more obvious. So by keeping the band there, you sort of control how much product gets onto the wig. If you feel like you can you want to add a bit more, you can always do that, but it you you know you're not you're not really just blending your face and by virtue of that just blending product into the wig as well big no no big big no no i really like this brow a lot more the one where i use the brow filler yes. if i had known if i had known okay cool once i've done that i'm gonna go in with this revlon color stay concealer Period. I'm gonna add a bit of this um, Revlon Candid concealer just because it's a bit brighter and I really like that light under eye especially if I've got like a cut crease on so I'm just gonna add this directly under my eye It's looking good. It's looking good. Blend my nose, make sure that I pinch my beauty blender so I keep the products in that exact place. I went home this past weekend, which was great. But it made me realize how like toxic family actually is. Family is so toxic, guys. And I love my family, but family is so toxic. Um, I think it's just because like when you move out of home, 
um, you're introduced to a lot of different perspectives, just the people around you, therapy for me. Um, there's so many things that you're learning and realizing that, damn, this stuff happened when I was younger, but it was not right, you know? So to go home and still see like those things still happening, but at the same time, you're not really in a position to educate people well, not really that you're not in a position to educate people, but you don't want to like get home and like now try to seem like that person who moves to Joburg and now knows it all. But at the same time, it's like it's like things that have always bothered me as a child, and then I'm seeing them happen now, and I'm just like, guys, this shit is still happening. It's crazy. I'm gonna give you one example. Like I got home and my 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 nephews still weren't washing the dishes right now if it were a girl child i feel like they would have like already gotten them you know to wash dishes but because they are boys they sort of have these gender like roles and i'm just like guys they're not cows here no one is herding cows no one is gardening no one is doing the garden so why aren't these kids being treated equally because honestly i feel like responsibility is something that you learn from like such a tender age and you know what it kind of upset me shame but i was like you know what shame let me not unpack this dynamic of my family shame i think i'm just gonna um use that to be a better parent myself or implement those things in my household because honestly I hate seeming like that person that knows it all and is like trying to because to, to be honest like it never changes anyway so in J I it sort of begins to seem like very futile and it's exhausting like being that person that always has the ideas and is always like involved in these conversations that like, it's so exhausting shame like i just want to be a normal person do normal stuff and then go back to my house and live my normal life like i really i'm not trying to be revolutionary like it's so tiring that thing yo awa so i'm using this um foundation stick in the shade java it's a bit dark i don't know why i'm applying so much i'm being so ambitious but I'm trying to get my face like really really beat today so hopefully it'll blend out quite well and it won't overwhelm me I hope it doesn't yeah the way it's so dark I shouldn't have put this on my nose but because being dark and this is why I struggle so <laughs> this is why I struggle so much with um chit chats because yeah when I do my makeup, like I want to be focused, hey. And then I'm gonna go in with this beauty blender and try and make sure that I don't lose my highlight. Then I'm gonna go in with some concealer just to highlight. And further sharpen this contour okay notice that this is not um, a very light shade of concealer because I want to still be able to bring this out okay just gonna uh, loosely apply it under my eye <laughs> so now that I've set my face I'm just gonna let that marinate just a little bit and I'm gonna stick on my lashes okay and maybe just bronze up and warm up my face in the meantime i'm gonna be using this powder from revlon it's the revlon color complexion new complexion powder and it's in the shade cinnamon this is just a, a powder that's in my skin tone i just use it to sort of help bring back this color back into my face 
and set my contour as well. I'm also going to remove this band now to see what's happening with my wig and whether it needs any further blending into my scalp and I don't know if it does maybe just a bit but maybe let me just use the powder okay so I'm going to use this powder again and just sort of try and use it to blend looks good enough for me I'm gonna go in with some leave-in conditioner just to make sure that I don't have any flyaways okay this looks good I'm really really imp impressed I'm gonna curl this a little bit though Girls, guys, one thing about me, I can transform hair. <laughs> Ciao! I am a transformer. Then I'm going to go in with the same mascara. Very good, very, very good. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Skin Light Highlighter. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna be using the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. The next lip lingerie in the shade Dust to Dawn. Giving me very separated vibes. I just added some concealer to this lip because I really wasn't feeling the pinkish vibe so I just added a nude well a brown concealer or some concealer it's in the shade caramel corn I think I should add some gloss to this lip it's giving me very dry needs some gloss I'm always gonna add gloss I'm adding the 8-hour cream. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to take some hair from the back. Because I want quite loose curls, I'm going to take quite a bit of hair. The more hair you section and curl, the looser the curl. okay so this is the final look gosh i look stunning okay i look so stunning it's almost as if that person has sat here to do their makeup oh, not the makeup chair <laughs> their makeup initially acts in dim but you know what dim shame it is i and dimmy this is the final look i'm wearing this cute dress when I say titties are tittying, body is a body and fupa is under control. <laughs> I 
I got this beautiful dress from T Stylish. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you do like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.